click, 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 double click, scroll, scroll. Oh my god! <laughs> Remember those shoes that Marty McFly puts on when he's in 2015 in Back to the Future Part 2? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah! Well, Nike just announced that they're actually making them. Like, they actually are making the shoes from Back to the Future Part 2. The only thing that I'm worried about is the price. Just given how complicated the, the mechanism must be to have the actual power laces implemented into the shoe, can only mean that the price of the shoe, you know, would be in the high. No? <laughs> Wait. I can fix this. I'll use my auditory temporal displacement of fire with this device rather than sending my entire body back in time, which <laughs> is impossible. I'll record an audio message to myself and send it back to the exact moment where I discovered that these infernal shoes ever existed and also find out that they don't have power laces, thus eliminating any trace of disappointment that I might feel as a result of this discovery. <coughs> Attention! Attention Nick Nielsen! The shoes do not have power laces. I repeat, they do not have power laces. That is all. And now, to just sit back and wait for my crushing disappointment to disappear. Any second now. Oh, is this happening? I could have sworn I, I, I did all the calcul- Wait a minute. Oh, 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 I had it set to elephant. Uh, oh, well. In all seriousness, though, the shoes are still pretty cool, and all proceeds from the sales of the shoes goes towards the Michael J. Fox Foundation, which uh, supports research in finding a cure for Parkinson's disease. So if you happen to have $3,500 plus dollars lying around, I suggest you bid on a pair. There's a link in the description if you're interested. It all goes toward an excellent cause, and you get a pretty awesome pair of shoes out of it, too. Even if they're missing an integral function. Power laces, alright.